Hey guys, this is Chris. Uh, I'm going to be doing a gear review today on a beautiful Friday, sunny Friday, a 90 degree day. That's why I got my hot tank top on, you know what I'm saying? Uh, of the REI Half Dome 2 Plus tent. Um, this is a, a great tent. Um, roomy, lightweight, three season tent. You can look that up on the internet. Um, it's, it's fairly lightweight. I think the weight comes in a little bit about like five plus pounds um, but the beautiful thing about it is it is roomy it is very roomy uh, you get an extra 10 inches in length and an extra four inches in width which is pretty awesome uh, you I would recommend buying the footprint for it unless you're a really hardcore outdoor backpacker and you want to build your own um, from stuff you found at Home Depot that's totally cool but this was uh, on sale yesterday so I figured why the hell build one from Home Depot and waste my time although it would have been a fun project but um decided to buy this just separately. It was 20 bucks. The whole cost of the whole tent overall came in to be right around $200, which um, I actually consider to be a, a pretty good deal. So it was on sale, so it worked out pretty well. Um, traditional type of stuff, they will give you your sack for your guy lines and for your stakes. Here are your guy lines. I haven't put them up yet. I probably won't put them up. It's not that windy of a day, and it's not raining like crazy, uh, as you can see, or else I wouldn't be outside. Ha <laughs> ha, funny joke. Uh, and then you've got your uh, pull bag, and obviously you have your pull repair tube right there. All right, nice and easy to use. Everybody figures that out. Nice and easy. Oop. Moving on, um, pretty good, pretty good, um, pretty good package, um, and and really simple and easy to pack up. Uh, from far away, here you go. Here is the tent itself. Uh, I staked it out. Already set the whole thing up. Setup took, you know, really no time at all. It took about five minutes, um, maybe at the most five minutes, <coughs> to make sure everything was just right and making sure the first time you set it up everything's cool. Um, You'll notice the rain flies already on. Just want to show you the whole entire thing before we move. Um, I'll go around it here. Um, you'll see um, pretty generous vestibule opening, uh, double vestibule tent, really nice. Two doors, uh, kind of these D-shaped doors that work really, really well to get in and out. I'll show you those in a minute. But uh, one of the coolest features that most of the backpacking tents are doing these days to allow for ventilation, and you can see right here, is this plane. Plane's always flying overhead going to do. Um, this great kind of feature where it's collapsible if you got really inclement weather and then you just pull it back up and just stack it. And if you can see, if you look through, you can actually see there are there are two two different uh, versions of this uh, on both sides. Two, two of the same, sorry, not two different versions. Um, pretty cool design here. Pretty cool design that I like. Um, and you'll notice uh, all of like the basically the, the rain fly, the footprint, and the tent all attached to this this metal grommet feature, this this grommet feature down here, um, and you can just tighten the rain fly as you go, and it, it works really really well. You just stake it out, and, and you're fine. Okay. Um, like I said, double vestibule. One of them's open right now, um, and I'll just bring you in here. Um, you can tell that this is a pretty roomy tent. I'll show you how. Um, I am six one roughly, and I have the ability to lay down the entire way without my head touching the the back of the tent and my feet aren't touching the front of the tent either. So um, it really is super roomy. So if, if you're like me and, and even though you're backpacking, you wanna have a little extra room, this is, might be the tent for you. Just because for, for big guys, at least like myself, it, it works really, really well. Uh, you'll notice a few things. Obviously your, your traditional gear lofts up at the top. You've got your, your gear loft here, you've got your gear loft here. Really nice and easy, simple design, lantern hooks all over the tent. You got them on both sides, so no matter which way you're kind of um, gonna be sleeping, you can hook up a lantern to that. Um, you can tell uh, by looking outside, the vestibules are, are pretty, pretty deep. Um, you know, especially when they're staked out, they give you they give you plenty of room to, to put stuff out. Like, so if you have your pack and you wanna throw your pack out here, or if you're lucky enough and you've got a puppy and you wanna bring your dog camping with you, this is kind of a great place to put them at night. I would say bring them in the tent if you need to, but but be aware that like with his claws, he's probably gonna scratch up the surface um, and you don't want him ripping through the base of your brand new tent. Although I know what you're gonna say, it was a cheap tent. So still, 200 bucks, man, it's 200 bucks. Um, I like the doors, I'll show them to you right now. Um, really easy to close, really simple. Um, really nice design, 
for door closure. Um, pretty quiet, you know, jingleless kind of tabs, if you will. Um, zippers, <coughs> you know, that works fine. I mean, if it's if it's windy outside and it's pouring rain, you're probably gonna be awake, awake anyway. So, whatever, who cares? Um, overall, I think it's a really really nice tent. The rain fly is great. Uh, it's a 90 degree day out here uh, in Connecticut and. The, the ventilation on this thing is, is pretty good, although it does get a little steamy. Um, obviously, I can't tell you how good this thing is in winter because i have taken it out in winter. I just bought it yesterday. But uh, I'll let you know, taking this out to California in a couple of weeks for a few days of backpacking on um, Point Reyes right along the beach. Uh, it should be interesting to see in the wind how it performs. One criticism that I have heard about this tent, it's mainly due to this ridge pull kind of feature right back here, all right? When you're getting out of the tent, you gotta be really, really careful if it's raining. The reason this is, so the, because of the new ridge pole design that a lot of these tents have, the, the vestibule door and the door to the tent come to this peak right up here. This can easily, right here, let in water straight down as, as you open the door. So honestly, if I were you, and you were gonna be getting out of the tent at night and you had this thing all cinched up like I do, okay, I would, Honestly, I would I would only maybe if you can if you can try it I would try to to get the vestibule door out to like there so that way you're not letting a little wa a lot of water into the tent itself. You can knock the edges kind of thing um, and then just kind of hop out and step out. Uh, your knee might get wet, but who cares? Uh, overall, uh, it's a great tent. Really cool cool design. Simple, easy. Um, you know, the hubs and everything work really really well. Really simple construction, really easy to put together. Hell of a bargain. Uh, if I were you, I would maybe check out the REI Half Dome 2 Plus, especially if you're a tall guy. That's about it. Hope you enjoyed. See you later. Peace.